Now we take the long walk back out of Dawngrest, and then we fly back to wherever the heck I just did. It's Hippionia or whatever. The continent that doesn't have, like, any cities on it as far as I'm aware. And then hopefully the game is like, all right, let's go to the final dungeon and finish the game, maybe. I guess we'll see. We're off! Go, Baul! Go! Yo, like, for real, though, why did they make me do this instead of just being like, hey, talk to Flynn when you're ready for the, the Emperor and all of them to arrive, and then they'd all show up? It seems really stupid for me to have to have gone to those two places. No, oh, it makes sense in the universe that Yuri and them would go and... Yeah, but, like, do, do it off-screen. Who freaking cares? That was such a waste of my time. How did you build all this crap so fast? I was gone for like 10 minutes. Whoa. They've already built this much? I can't believe the city's come this far so quickly. And it doesn't look like they used magic. Look. Looks like they burned themselves out. Looks like the knights put up a fight too. I guess this is what people do when they work together. In the moment of truth, people manifest amazing strength. Just like fish caught on a line. I'm so sick and tired of all of your pirate sailor water analogies. Yeah, this just goes to show you people always manage somehow. So, how do you like it? Hats off to you. How are things on your end, Yuri? We talked to them. We also told them that we talked to His Majesty when we could. Okay, I talked to His Majesty, and it looks like he'll come. He's coming by ship now. He's taking the slow route. I'll take Baul to pick him up. Harry and Nats, too. Really? Won't Baul get angry? There's no time, right? Baul understands that, too. That would be a great help. There's no time left. So the leaders of the world will finally come together. Now we just have to see if they understand what we're doing. And if the diplomatic approach doesn't work, there's always fisticuffs. These people have gone through so much to get here. I just know they'll understand. Yeah. Spirits. Adefagos. Duke. Turn all the world's cores into spirits. It's an extraordinary story. I know it's hard to believe, but that's the reality we're up against. No more Blastia, no more barriers? There would be so much chaos. That sounds great to me. If we don't do it, then we're all gone, either by Duke or the Atafagos. There may be no choice, but do you really think people will listen? I don't think anyone hopes for a future of destruction. We can keep moving forward, even if it's hard. Yeah, that's why we're doing this. The Empire's duty is to prevent confusion and guide people to the future. Now is the time to reign for the people. We'll have our hands full. Making new things that will serve for Blastia. Oh, there's business to be done. We have to think of a way to fight off the monsters without the barriers. The Mercenary Guild and Hunting Blades won't be enough. What about combining the Reform Knights with the guilds? Sounds interesting, but I don't know if it'll go smoothly. You're not going to stay until the end? That's not our job. Yeah, that's stuff for the important people to work out. Somehow I think people will have a harder time than they're thinking. It's their job to get ready for that. Our job. We have to crush the Autophagos and stop Duke. Aye, we've got to sail the course we've plotted. I see. Sorry, we left all the dirty work to you. That's my line. We always leave the hardest part to you all. I apologize. All right, we got work to do. 
But how are we supposed to access all the world's cores? I think I know a way. There was something in the research Alexei and Barbos did. Some note about creating a network of Blastia. Really? Where's that note? Um, I brought it with my personal things. H hey, wait! You can't just go looking at people's stuff! Oh, I'm going too. They just took off. Brave Vesperia's as lively, no as rowdy as ever. That's just how we are. Looks like there's a tiny bit of hope. Yes, it does. I'm sure she'll find an answer if she's that worked up. Let's just hang out until she does. All right, goodbye, everyone. Is this a, yet another moment of talk to all of the party members one by one? That's what it's looking like. All right, Patty first. I said I could peek at the meeting, but I got so bored it seemed like it was going fine, I think. All right, well, you know, fingers crossed. Maybe not so much a talk with everyone moment because it wasn't like an, an actual speech moment. Look at this beautiful sheep. I love doggos. Specifically Shiba Inu. Best dog ever. Don't at me. Check. Pond used for transport. It connects to a river. Seems like it leads to the sea. Oh, very useful. Are you, uh, someone I can buy from? Or use this river to transport supplies. Alright, well, you're worthless to me. Is there a place I can buy stuff around here? Because I do need to restock. Look at how far this town has come. The unity of the guilds is really something. I should have bought up all of the items I needed before doing, uh... Or before leaving Dawngrest. I didn't even think about it at the time. Nothing to do over here. Is there a shop anywhere around here? The shield blastia was buried underground. That must mean that a town once existed here. I don't know why. This really reminds me of the Valcanus Creus from Graces. Probably because we were just talking about Graces earlier. Uh, oh, it's this idiot. I forgot you were even in this game. Guess you found me pretty good. I'll teach you to cook as a reward. Yeah, thanks. I haven't found you in like, I don't know, 15 hours of gameplay. I don't know how to pronounce that word, so I'm not going to try. I think it's just crepe, isn't it? Maybe. Creep? Crepe? Crepapa? I don't know. The nerve rummaging through my stuff like that. She's always like that. She's so bossy. Yeah, you know, that's Rita for you. What's up, Flynn? Yuri, do you have a minute? Hmm? Yeah, sure. What's up? Not here. I'll be waiting at the entrance. Hmm? Okay. Oh, Judith. Huh? Why are you wandering around? Your friends are waiting for you. Yeah, I can tell. I should, uh, in case this stuff with Flynn leads me into a bunch of cutscenes, I should save up here. How much time do I have left? I got a little over ten minutes. Hopefully we can get some cutscenes or something going and then, uh, wrap up. Oh, I'm, like, super low on everything. I'm probably not getting into a fight anyways. Whatever. Flynn! You ready? I am. What are we doing? Bye, Rapide. What a good boy. So, are you gonna tell me why you're so serious? Are you just gonna go like this? Huh? The people who command the entire world are gathered here. Now's the time to tell them all you've done. Not this again. Half of my achievements, or more, are really yours. So what? It doesn't matter who did them. It does. Why do you always choose the option that's bad for you? Why do you try to bear everything by yourself? Is Yuri literally Sasuke Uchiha? I think he might be. Do you think I can't take the burden? You're carrying what I can't. I know I can do what I want only because someone's watching out for me. But... Forget it. I can't explain. I'll just yell at you again. <laughs> In that case... Try it like this. Yuri! You're not gonna beat me in an argument. But you know what you can beat me in. This. Yeah. You're right. Just like always. Everything I feel is in this sword. Good. Come on! Oh, this is sick. I like this. This is cool. I better not have to win this because I'm going to get decimated. Also, thanks for not healing me before, you scumbags. Okay, you know what? Hey, what's up? 
Uh, are you also an overlimit? How did you, how dare you, you overlimit me like that? Oh, uh, what? How many years has it been since we fought like this? Uh, we fought in the Coliseum. You forget already? Of course not. Just, uh, a lot of stuff has happened. It's... Excuse me? Oh, is that just it? That's so lame! Way to ruin what was easy on me. Way to ruin what was really cool. He just stole the like stole my Mystic Art and used it and insta KO'd me, and then that's just the end of it. There was no redo or anything. That's so lame. Whatever. I told you. Everything I feel. You've gotten better, Yuri. <sighs> you too. You would have beaten me easy if you were still like when we were kids. Didn't we swear on our swords when we were kids? We would fight to make people smile. Yeah, even if we follow different paths. Even if we bear different burdens. Even if people praised us or hated us. The knights and the guilds won't change, right? There are places in each of us the other can't reach. That's why we're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really cool moment. It'd be a lot better if the fight hadn't just ended instantly. Oh, okay, it's just because you're bad. Screw off. Imaginary straw man that I just made up. That was really cool for like, I don't know, a minute and a half, and then it just all got thrown aside. It'll work. I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again right now, by the way. That moment was really cool, and like it, it definitely should have been just Yuri against Flynn, but the Tales of games, I love the Tales of games. I really like their combat style. Some of the games have a combat style I'm not as much a fan of. Like, obviously, I don't like Vesperia's combat as much as, like, Berseria or Zillia or Graces or anything like that. But for the most part, I enjoy all of the Tales games combat-wise. Zesteria had a really good combat system. But uh, at the end of the day, I find this to be an undeniable truth. You can disagree all you want. Tales of games are not made for 1v1 combat. They're made for it to be, like, at least, at least two, if not... The two to four. Ideally four, but at the very least two. You should have more than one character on your side. If, you, if, if you're fighting one enemy, that's fine, because the bosses and stuff always have a ton of HP and power and whatnot. But, like, the Tales of games are just not structured in a way, in my opinion, that it's fun to fight where you've only got one character that you're playing as. It's just not. It's not enjoyable. It's just not. So, you know... You may think differently, you know, you're entitled to your opinion, I guess. But, like, I can't imagine playing through these games... And being like, nah, this game is more fun when it's just the one character instead of having a group of people. It, it's made to have a group of people at a time. Connect the spirits directly with the core and excite it. Converge the generated power onto Vesperia number one through the four spirits, and then use it against the Autophagos. I was the one to find this method. Synchronize this device with the barrier Blastia placed around the world, and then use it to interfere with the surrounding Blastia. Ugh. That speech was as sinuous as an octopus's legs. Carol has no hope of understanding. Can I just remove Patty from this game? My goodness, I'm so tired of all of these... Stu whatever. Not like you got it either. We get it, Patty. You're a pirate. So you mean we can transform the Blastia Core into spirits, right? That's what I've been telling you. I knew you could do it, Rita. Our only problem is time. We need to build the Blastia Core network and prepare for the converge process simultaneously. I'll handle the network. We do have some people from Ospio who can help, too. We'll need a guard, too. Better keep an eye on the monsters in the Atafagos. The Knights will take that position. We will protect all with our life. The guild will back up wherever necessary. We also have engineers who can help. Hey! This is gonna work out! So then, is Vesperia number one ready for action? Not quite. I don't have everything I need to make the body yet. I'm working on all the necessary calculations, but we still need to find compatible parts. Then wouldn't it be better just to make a new one from scratch? There should be plenty of people and materials here. 
Hey, that's a great idea. We can start with the network construction. How's that sound? Yeah, it could end up being faster if you can do that. Then it's decided. We'll get everyone together so you can explain in more detail later. Everyone's pitching in to make a weapon that can defeat the Autophagos. Just like how this town was built. Thinking about it like that gives me a strange feeling. We just need to get close to the Autophagos so that the power of the spirits will reach it for sure. And then activate Vesperia number one. That means we need to get to... The Tower of Tarkaron. Duke's hideout. Are we gonna fight him? I don't know, but we can't let him use Tarkaron. I guess we can't walk around it. Yeah. All right then, I'll start working on Vesperia number one's repairs. Great, let's aim to be ready to leave by tomorrow. All right then. Let's talk to people if we can. Yuri, let's do our best. Yeah, dude. What are you doing, Estelle? Rita is such a powerful mage. I have to become stronger to defeat the Autophagos. It sounds to me like us becoming stronger doesn't have anything to do with beating the Autophagos at this point, but what do I know? It all started out with our... It, words. it all started out with orders from Alexei to keep an eye on Estelle, but now it has turned out to be a journey to save the world. And I was given the same order from Dawn, too. You guys remember the Dawn? What an interesting character he was that amounted to basically nothing in this game. Bow, bow, bow. Where are, where are the rest of the party members that I can talk to? Judith. We should rest early to get ready for tomorrow. Me? I will, when I get sleepy. Yeah, classic you. Who would have thought the Empire and Guilds would ever join forces to work towards a common goal? I could get used to the idea. Yeah, you know, that's how it goes. Where do I go to rest for the night? Because if I rest for the night, then I can probably get a cutscene to have. Yo, Harry! We've discussed the various possibilities. Now I just have to convince everyone in town I'm getting worked up to the challenge. Yeah, whatever. Wait, is this the end? Ah, here we go. You guys have a store? Oh, hi. Can't settle down? I'm always up for a riot. I don't want to fight Duke, but I'll end up feeding the fishes if I hold back against them. I'm so sick of you. Where do I go to, like, end the day? I'm almost... Well, at, at this point, honestly, I may as well just talk to a few more people and then save and figure it out next time. This goes a little in, but would you like to stay a night? Oh, okay, so I gotta talk to you, of course. I gotta talk to the guy outside. Let's go in here and buy stuff first. Hey, Nats. I'll return to Nordopolica as soon as we're ready. I have to let the people in town know. Hello. Bye. I want all of my items maxed out. I'm pretty sure I'm going to the end of the game. I hope I am, at least. Bam, bam, bam. You know what? I was having trouble with poison earlier. Buy a bunch of those. In fact, just max me out on a lot of stuff. Well, not max out, but just buy me a lot of stuff. I guess contamination. I think contamination is the thing that, uh... You know what? Max these out. I think contamination is the thing that lowers your TP by turn like poison would. Wish I could carry more than 15 life bottles. It'd make my life a lot easier. Well, that ought to freaking do it. Is there like a really good sword I can buy for Yuri? The Holy Avenger. Is implied by the name, the sword represents the goodness in mankind. Yeah, this looks way better than what I currently have equipped. And it sounds like it has really good abilities, so I'll, I'll take that. In fact, give me another one, I'll give it to Estelle. Yep, buy that, whatever. Uh, Rune Mail. Yeah, man. I mostly only care about buffing Yuri right now. The other characters don't matter as much. Yuri has one HP. Uh, yeah, I maxed those out. Where, where is this? What's it called? Oh, the Vorpal Sword looks sick, but it's a lot weaker than the second star. Where is that? Here we go, the Holy Avenger. What does Resurrect and HP Recovery do? Resurrect and HP Recovery. Where are those? Here we go. Occasionally revive from KO automatically. That'd be really nice. Increases the amount of HP recovered. Yeah, these are both fantastic. This is like the best weapon I've ever seen in my life, other than maybe Dane Nomos itself. Uh, equipment. Definitely keep the Defender on. Mithril Helm. I want the Dragon Helm. Apparently I already had one. I didn't need to buy one. But you know what? I don't friggin' care. The Rune Mail. Looks really cool. Dragon Mail better? No. Alright. Well, I don't know do it then. It's a pretty sick sword. Not as good as Dane Nomos, but cool enough. I think I'm done for today. 
when we come back next time, we will uh, rest at the end and then go to the end of the game, potentially. Can I leave the city right now? Probably not because no one's in the party, right? They're not going to let me go. Carol. The Tower of Tarkaron, that's a big job, but we have to succeed for the guild. No, for the future of the world. We'll take care of them tomorrow. Let's get plenty of rest. Okay, yeah, thought so. So I'm not going to be able to go and level grind in between now and next time, unfortunately, but you know. What are you going to do? We're, we're at level 50. We'll probably be fine. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I probably need to be like level 55 right now, but I'll I'll try and make do. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hopefully when we come back next time, we'll start to, uh, we'll head to Tarkaron and wrap up the game. I doubt I'm an hour out from the end of the game. We probably got two, maybe three hours at most left, but uh, that's fine because I need this game to last a little bit longer because I'm almost done with one of my classes, like I mentioned at the start of the session, and I really want to focus on finishing that class before I have to make a layout and all for the, uh, the new Digimon series I'm going to be doing that's coming up, so it'd be really good if this game could last me like three more hours. That would be ideal. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. And until then, farewell.